We have a very targeted approach to finding our lawyers um, internationally. You know, it's not so um, straightforward, you know, unlike um, some countries in Asia Pacific, you know, there aren't directories of lawyers quite often because they are regional lawyers and they're not general counsels of the actual of the larger companies at headquarters. They, there is no mention of them. There is no mention of them in the annual report. There's no mention of them um, in, you know, on on public records. So, a lot of the time we have to headhunt um, in the markets, and that's, as I mentioned before, that's a very targeted approach. You know, we work, we look at the competitors in the in the market, and then we look at the second competitors and the third competitors after that. You know, we look for the making sure we really make sure that we find um, the right profile and approach these candidates if they're not known to us already. In Asia, a lot of people, a lot of the lawyers move around very often. So um, there's continuously, um, you know, updates in our database by our researchers um, through the people that uh, we meet, through the um, network events that we attend um, and also host as well. I employ a, a variety of, of strategies, but um, I can say that Latin America is a very relationship-based society. Um, and the universe of premier top quality lawyers in any Latin American country is relatively small. And they tend to know each other. Um, so I use a lot of personal references and, and my own network. Um, and invariably, I'll know someone who knows someone who knows someone who can recommend that person for the role that I'm looking for. So. It's a lot of personal networking, a lot of um, chatting with people about the role. Uh, of course, I mean, we also used LinkedIn, um, which is quite popular in Latin America. Uh, and we, I have the benefit of the MLA database. So, you know, we have over 400,000 lawyers in our database. And if any MLA recruiter has ever spoken to that person, there are going to be notes in the database that will help me get a better idea of who that person is. So it's a, always a combination of, of tools. In addition to our global database of over 400,000 people grown over the last 33 years, the in-house research team really goes about mapping the market and, and pinpointing candidates that are not listed on the database, any databases globally, not listed on LinkedIn, and really quite happy in their roles. So they're really pinpointing why these people could be fantastic candidates for this role and unearthing non-active talents. And I think it's something to realise that Obviously, you could post a job advert and and find people who are reactive to that and and the, you know who are looking for roles, but it's really fine. What we do best is finding people and being proactive about finding the best people. I think there's no mistakes. There's no. I just happen to find this candidate by accident. So, you know, top talent is typically buried deep in certain organisations. People are definitely looking to recruit and retain the talents. 